Imagine the aftermath of a catastrophic event that altered the very foundations of human civilization. The Black Plague was a devastating virus that raced across continents and spared no one or anything. A fascinating look into how this devastating plague changed the course of history begins today. The Black Plague, also called the Black Death, appeared in the 14th century like a vengeful ghost and plunged the globe into gloom. It was a moment of extraordinary difficulties, but hope emerged from the ashes of despair. The domino effect of this devastating pandemic spread to every facet of society. The Black Plague had a devastating effect on society, swiftly and efficiently wiping out entire populations. Between 25 and 50 percent of the population may have fallen prey to its fatal hold, permanently shifting the demographic profile. The Black Death is more than just a tale of misery. No, it's about transformation, courage in chaos, and human triumph. New chances exist as this terrible pandemic collapses the old system. As economic landscapes change, marginalized people gain power. A growing middle class shakes up feudalism, transforming society. Before that, let me remind you to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video from us. Come along with us as we investigate this pivotal time in human history. In the face of unfathomable adversity, you will hear stories of people's perseverance, growth, and transformation. The devastating effects of the Black Death transformed the course of history, leaving a mark that is still felt today. Where did the plague come from? One of history's deadliest pandemics, the Black Death, began in the middle of the 14th century. It's generally agreed that the epidemic started somewhere in Central Asia, probably near where Kyrgyzstan and Mongolia are today. Historians and scientists are still debating the disease's precise beginnings and first dissemination. The most widely recognized idea is that black rats on merchant ships along trade routes carrying fleas that caused the Black Death. As these ships crossed the Black Sea and Mediterranean, rats and fleas unwittingly carried the deadly bacterium Yersinia pestis to ports and cities. Medieval towns crowded, unclean circumstances helped spread the disease after infected rats and fleas arrived in Europe. Dense populations of brown rats spread the disease. Fleas biting an infected rat would spread the bacterium to new hosts, including humans, causing fresh epidemics. The specific cause of the Black Death is unknown, although Yersinia pestis was vital to its spread. Fleas from rats or secondary hosts, including people, spread the disease. During the pandemic, Black Death was not used. Later, it was used to characterize the disease's widespread destruction, referring to the infected person's blackened swellings. The Black Death's origins are still being studied centuries later. The origins and early dissemination of this terrible pandemic are being studied using historical documents, DNA evidence, and archaeological findings. Why did the Black Death matter? History buffs, today we're exploring the terrifying Black Death, a unique situation. Learn why this devastating pandemic was so difficult. This historical adventure will shock your mind. The Black Death was unusual. Its contagiousness spread quickly. A touch, a sneeze, a cough, and boom, the disease spread like a cheetah. Rapid disease transmission has made communities infectious time bombs. Guys, there's more. The Black Death's high fatality rate showed its power. This horrible sickness may afflict 30% of the population. Losing so many loved ones so quickly is sad. This unimaginable disaster destroyed communities. Immunity is next. This plague strain has never been seen before. Yes, folks, this vicious opponent had no defense. The young, elderly, rich and poor were defenseless against the Black Death. Equal opportunity destroyer. The kicker is this. Medical knowledge and therapies were, well, outdated. Hope and a few dubious cures were all the courageous doctors had. They fought blindly because they didn't grasp the disease propagation. They battled an invisible adversary without viable therapies or prevention. Remember medieval Europe's living conditions? Imagine crowded quarters, insufficient sanitation, and poor hygiene. Disease thrived there. The Black Death spread rapidly through packed streets, residences, and markets. The Black Death's impact on civilization was the saddest part. Fear, panic, and helplessness spread quicker than disease. Imagine the anguish of watching your loved ones fall ill knowing you couldn't help. The Black Death left deep physical and social wounds in populations. Thus, folks, contagion, high morality, a lack of immunity and efficient therapies, filthy circumstances, and psychological and social turmoil made the Black Death a perfect storm. 
The colossal problem reminds us of our frailty. In what ways did the Black Death alter the future? One of the deadliest pandemics in human history was the Black Death or bubonic plague. During the 14th century, it wreaked havoc across Europe, killing and displacing millions. As a result of its widespread and devastating effects, the Black Death altered the course of history in a number of significant ways. Population decline. Because of the Black Death, Europe's population dropped dramatically. About a quarter to half of the population perished as a result of the plague, which caused severe labor shortages and social unrest. So many lives lost had a dramatic effect on the fabric of society and the economy. Economic disruption. The population drop caused a disruption in the economy because there were not enough people to fill available jobs. Because of their scarcity, the remaining workers were able to negotiate significantly higher compensation as a result. Inflation and economic instability followed the plague because of the disruption in agricultural production and trade brought on by the shortage of workers. Social and cultural changes. The Black Death's massive death toll had a dramatic effect on societal institutions and culture. As the labor shortage weakened the power of the aristocracy, traditional feudal systems began to collapse. Formerly bound to the land and offered new opportunities, serfs and peasants now had more leeway and bargaining power. This change aided in the decline of feudalism and the emergence of the middle class. Religious and psychological effects. The psychological and religious effects of the pandemic were widespread panic, hopelessness, and religious fervor. Many looked to religion as a source of comfort and guidance. Others doubted the church's power because its rituals and prayer didn't seem to stop the sickness from spreading. The ecclesiastical reforms and renaissance were both influenced by this time of introspection. Medical advancements. The spread of the Black Death prompted significant developments in medical science and practice. Scholars and medical professionals worked to better understand the disease and its impacts, which advanced the study of anatomy, epidemiology, and hygiene. The spread of the plague also led to the development of public health quarantines and safety measures. Geopolitical changes. The Black Death altered geopolitical landscapes significantly. It damaged and destabilized numerous areas, especially the hardest hit cities and states. As a result of the plague's effects on society and the economy, riots and political turmoil broke out in some areas. The Mongol Empire, which had helped spread the disease through its extensive trading network, eventually fell as a result. Artistic and literary expressions. The Black Death had a profound effect on the cultural and literary expressions of its period. Artwork frequently featured the memento mori, remember you will die, motif, which emphasized the fleeting nature of human existence. The popularity of the medieval metaphor, danse macabre, which depicted death as a leveler, increased. Poems and novels written at the time likewise expressed the trauma and existential problems brought up by the pandemic. The Black Death was a cataclysmic event that affected many facets of culture, politics, economics, and society. Its after effects were felt throughout time and left their mark on the planet. What caused the Black Death to end? Even though the Black Death, one of history's deadliest pandemics, eventually did end, historians and scientists still can't agree on what caused it. There is debate as to what exactly put an end to the Black Death, although numerous variables are potential contributors. Due to a declining vulnerable population, the Black Death may have naturally diminished. The plague killed people and infected communities. Thus, fewer people could spread the disease, slowing its spread. Quarantine and seclusion helped contain the sickness. Separating sick people from healthy people helped to contain the outbreak. Communities reduced the spread of illness by segregating diseased people. Black Death survivors developed genetic resistance to future outbreaks. Because these people had developed antibodies or possessed genetic characteristics that made them less susceptible to the disease, they had a greater chance of surviving subsequent infections and beating the disease. Immunity and genetic resistance may have helped the Black Plague diminish. Black rats carried the disease-spreading fleas. The epidemic and control methods likely reduced rat populations. Fewer rodents meant fewer infected fleas, reducing disease spread. The Black Death enhanced hygiene and cleanliness. People realized the importance of personal hygiene, housekeeping, and waste disposal. Improved cleanliness presumably reduced the disease's transmission and inhibited the bacterium's flea and rodent growth. Let us take a moment now towards the end of our journey through the Black Death's dying days to appreciate the splendor that emerged from the darkness. It was a time when people pulled together, stood tall, and proved their mettle. The benevolent hand of nature orchestrated the Black Death's symphonic ending as the disease's organic spread slowed. 
Rat population shifts affected the Black Death. Humanity won the delicate balance. It reminded us that even in disorder, nature weaves its intricate tapestry, guiding us towards a better future. Let us remember the Black Death. Remember the resilience and solidarity that emerged from despair. May we constantly value cleanliness and nature-human harmony. As we come to the end, may we take comfort in the radiance of the human spirit, continually renewed by lights eventually triumph over darkness. And be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on our future videos. Stay tuned for more captivating content coming your way soon.